In this video, we're going to go over first in, first out using inventory valuation set as automated. Again, this is pretty straightforward and works pretty logically. There's a only one difference or one caveat that we want to pay attention to. Now, if I go into inventory, we're going to go to reporting and we're going to look at our valuation and we're going to look at our first in, first out product. The total value right now is $75 and we have three units, one that we purchased for 30, that was the first one in, one that we purchased for 25 and one that was purchased for 20. Now when we sell our first unit, the cost of that unit is going to be 30 because this is working on a first in first out. So we just have a stack and once we sell one unit, we're going to see a new line that's going to remove $30 worth of value. And then the next line, next time we sell a unit, is going to remove $25 worth of value and then 20 and so on. Now the only difference here is that our average cost for these products is $25 each and that's what's going to reflect on the product template itself or product product depending on if you have variants or not. We don't need to get into that right now. But let's go into our first in first out product and we'll notice that the cost price set here and updated automatically by the system is $25 which is going to reflect the average cost of the units on hand. So let's take a look at how this changes. Let's go ahead and Instead of purchasing, we'll just go straight into sales and we'll create a new sale order. So we're going to create a sale order for customer one and we're going to sell our first in first out product. And let's go ahead and just confirm this. We'll create the delivery. We'll go to our sale order, create our invoice, and we will confirm our invoice. Now, if we go to our journal entries, the first thing you'll notice is that our cost of goods sold is $30. That's because that's that first product that needs to go out for a total of $30 based on our first in first out method. Now if we go to inventory, we go to our valuation report, we'll see our first in first out has updated to $45 worth of total value and that's going to be for this $25 unit and this $20 unit. Now if I go to our products and look at first in first out, we'll see that the cost is going to reflect the average cost of the units on hand, individual values. Previously, we looked at average cost and average cost wouldn't have updated this because it's the average cost of all units at that time and it doesn't change. However, in first in first out, it's going to reflect the total value of the items, the average cost of the total value of the items that are left in stock. So again, going back to valuation, the average cost of the two units we have left, which is the $20 unit and the $25 unit, is $22.50. Now I mentioned this before, but I want to mention this again. If we were using serialized products, and let's say we decided that this purchase here was for serial number five. And let's say the system told us to ship serial number one, but instead we ship serial number five. This is not directly tied, the valuation layer is not directly tied to the serial numbers and it does not reflect the actual cost of the product. That is a different costing method known as actual cost that's not currently supported. Just letting you know in case you run into that scenario or want to have uh, those actual margins. So this is going to be based on the first in first out of purchases, not necessarily the product that specifically holds that value. All right, so we see what happened when we sold the good. Let's just go ahead and purchase one unit. And this time we'll, we'll purchase a unit from vendor one and we'll go ahead and do a first in first out product. And let's just leave this as $30 and see how it affects our average cost on our product template as well as the first in first out method. So let's go ahead and confirm this, receive our units in, go back to the PO using the breadcrumbs, create the bill, set the bill date and confirm this. Now in inventory, going to reports, valuation once one more time, you see we added $30 worth of value. So now we have 25, 20 and 30 for a total cost of $25 and an average cost of, oh sorry, a total cost of $75 with an average cost of the three units being 25. So if we go into this first out, first in first out product, we see that the cost has updated to $25.